Welcome back everyone, it's Mindy Egan Design for Pink and Main, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this card using the new Birthday Kids stamp set from Pink and Main that will be released on March 10th, 2018. So I just wanted to show you quick the double stitched heart die that I'll be using also from Pink and Main that's available in the store now. That die comes with five heart dies and it's double stitched so you'll have a stitching line on each piece that you die cut. So I just wanted to show you that quick. The first thing I'm going to be doing is taking a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock and I'll be applying the Distress Oxide inks. I'm using Picked Raspberry, Carved Pumpkin, and Squeezed Lemonade. And I'm just quickly applying this on there, lining up the dye to see where my colors are going to lie to make sure I get all three of those colors in there. And then I'll go back over them to smooth out those lines so there's no harsh lines on there. Spritz that with water and dab that up with a paper towel so I have those water splotches on there. I really like that effect when it comes to the Distress Oxides. And then I'm going to line up my double stitched heart die on there, making sure all three of those colors are showing in that heart. And I'm going to hold that in place with some thermal web purple tape. This is a really great tacky tape. Tacky enough where it's going to hold everything in place where I need it to, but not so sticky that it'll ruin my paper and rip it when I go to take it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my Big Shot machine. And now I have this beautifully cut out heart. I love these colors together. So now I'm bringing in the Birthday Kids stamp set. This is a super cute stamp set. These images are just adorable. So what I did was stamp these out on some Nina Solarweight cardstock 80 pound. That's just my personal choice of cardstock to use when coloring with Copic markers. And I stamped them with an alcohol friendly ink. And now I'm just going to come in with all of my Copic colors. There is quite a bit of coloring to this, but just to kind of give you a basis of how I did this, is I start out with my darkest colors. That'll be my shadow areas. And then I'm going to blend out darkest to lightest. So I'm going to do that to both images. And I'll have the colors listed in the top of the screen and also in my video description as well. So since there is a lot of coloring, I did speed the video up quite a bit. You are definitely welcome to watch how I color these images and where I placed my shadows. And then if you want to skip ahead to how I finished off the card, you can head over to 919 of the video. Otherwise, I'm going to leave you to some fun music to enjoy.
now that my images are all colored up, I'm going to go ahead and place the coordinating die for each one, holding those in place with the ThermoWeb purple tape just so they don't move or shift. If you have never tried pink and main dies before, you definitely have to give them a shot. They come already pre-cut ready to go. So there's no wire cutters. You don't need to snip anything. They are all set. They cut beautifully. I love these dies. So now I'm just going to come in and start putting the card together. I have the heart there and I'm going to line up where I want my kids to go and then just start getting everything ready to attach. I want to make sure I do stamp my sentiment before I attach anything. So I'm going to use a sentiment off of the birthday kid stamp set and I'm going to use my Misty tool to stamp that in there just to make sure I have everything lined up and in case it doesn't stamp right the first time I can come back in and stamp it again and I do use a VersaFine ink I really like using VersaFine black ink when it comes to stamping on top of the oxides because it is a really nice crisp black you just got to be careful with it because it does tend to get all over your fingers so I'm going to get that stamped and then I'll just start attaching everything to the card and I'm using actually a uh, side folding a two size card base for my card my kids I'm gonna go ahead and attach with some foam squares just for a little dimension and then I did add some of the glossy dots onto my card afterwards that you'll see in the finished project so I will have the supplies that I used listed down below in the video description if you enjoyed this video please go ahead give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video today and i'll catch you in the next video